parties so if you want to see how to create some holiday treats for those parties or even if you just want to make them for yourself then just keep on watching so to make these chocolate trees you will need a mini Reese's peanut butter cup and we will put that upside down on a plate and then I'm taking some green piping gel and I'll be putting a drop of that on top just to act as glue for the next piece of chocolate and the next piece of chocolate is a regular size Reese's peanut butter cup and we will also be putting that face down and then another drop of the icing another small Reese's peanut butter cup another drop of icing and then to finish off the tree the top of the tree it will be a Hershey kiss and that is your chocolate tree and of course we have to decorate the tree so I am using the piping gel um, you could use whatever color you want but I thought green would look perfect and um, I'm just putting it on the tree as you can see here and then I found these Christmas sprinkles at the store and I will be putting these sprinkles on top of the piping gel so that is how you make these adorable Christmas chocolate trees and one thing I really want to quickly say is that I got piping gel the green piping gel but if you want it to taste a little bit better then try getting the piping frosting instead To make these holiday pretzels you will need a bowl of chocolate chips and I put mine in the microwave and melted them and then I took these long pretzel rods and I'm using a spoon and I am covering about three-fourths of the pretzel leaving just a little bit at the end so that you can hold the pretzel without getting melted chocolate all over your hands so I am just using the spoon to cover the pretzel with chocolate and then to finish it off of course we need to use those Christmas sprinkles you can pick whatever ones you want and just top it off with these sprinkles they are super Super easy to make, they are so delicious and they're just super cute for the holidays. And then for option number two for the pretzels, this one as you can see is a little bit messy and I'm just dipping the square pretzels into the chocolate and these will kind of be present looking ones which I thought was super cute and then I'm just using my finger to scrape off any excess and then I'm taking the piping gel again and I'm taking red and I am making these lines on the squares just to act as kind of like the ribbon on a present and then of course once we're done with that we cannot forget about the Christmas sprinkles so I'm just topping it off with sprinkles and those are the adorable Christmas pretzels To make these crispy trees I'll be adding three tablespoons of butter into a pot on low heat and I will be melting it and then once the butter is melted I am adding a 10 ounce bag of marshmallows which is the exact amount we need and I will be stirring it in with the butter making sure that it melts and then I have this food coloring it's actually gel food coloring and I'm choosing green and then I'll be mixing that in with the marshmallow butter mix to turn it green and then I'm taking rice crispy cereal and I'm adding six cups of that into the marshmallow butter mix and mixing it all together. Once it is mixed together I am putting it down on some parchment paper and then I'm using the spoon and my hands to spread it out as you can see here. Once it has hardened a little and cooled off I'm taking these adorable Christmas tree cookie cutters and I'll be cutting out little Christmas tree shapes. the trees are all cut out I'm putting these scraps into a bag just so that they don't go to waste and you can have them as a little snack and then after that I have the trees and now it's time for decorating so I'm taking the piping gel again and I'm just creating these lines that could be like garland or Christmas lights and then of course I have to add some Christmas sprinkles so that is what I'm adding on top and that is how you make these adorable delicious rice crispy trees 
holiday treats. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys!